Hello YouTube, today I'm at Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This particular one is the night edition, however it does have the safety group which includes blind spot monitoring. So although you have halogen headlights up front, you do get the LED tail lights which is awesome. Right here in the bottom portion of the bumper you have your integrated parking sensors. Here's your black headlight bezels, which look sweet. The midnight package, or the night package, I should say, gives you black grille, color-matched front and rear bumpers, blacked-out badges, as well as blacked-out 20-inch wheels. This looks to be a Bridgestone Dueler HL on 275-55R20. Really nice black-looking wheel right there. Up top you have your blacked out 1500 Hemi 5.7 badge. Coming down here we have some plastic splash guards which is really nice to protect against rock chips and corrosion. It's your Ram badge right there. Really nice black metallic flake. Capless fuel fill port. Again, there's the plastic right here to protect against rock chips. Here's the LED tail lights with blind spot monitor right here. And because this is the night edition, it is the smoked black version. Your Bighorn badge is all blacked out if you can see it. Same with your 4x4 badge as well as your Ram logo. And you also have black dual exhaust tips. Parking, rear parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Standard four pin and seven pin trailer connectors. And your backup camera. Really, really unique um, package with the halogen headlights and the LED tail lights. Massive, massive crew cab. This thing looks really sweet. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So there are some new features um, in terms of interior with the 2020s versus the 2019s. Um, I will point those out once we get to them. But first we're gonna start over here on the left hand side. We have all of the buttons for the windows. Both driver and passenger front two windows are automatic up and down. In front of that we have the buttons for the mirror controls. With this big horn you have the package where you can push the center button and the mirrors will automatically fold in, push it again, and they will fold out. You can see the little blind spot monitor triangle in the middle right there. Right over here we have all the buttons for the lighting controls of this vehicle. Below that we have your electronic parking brake as well as your power adjustable pedals. Coming to the instrument cluster, right here we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, with this beautiful LCD screen in the middle. Each corner has a different parameter you can monitor, and you can also change up the display on the right side as well. Very, very cool. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped and heated. On this side, you have the controls for the center LCD display. To the right of that, we have the controls for the hands-free calling. Over here on the right side, we have all of the cruise control buttons. And then below that, we have your gear limiter buttons. Just like almost all FCA vehicles, on the back of the left side, you have a seek or tune rocker. And then on the back of the right side, you have your volume rocker to keep your hands on the wheel, which is pretty sweet. This vehicle does have push button start as well as a little storage compartment up top with a 12 volt outlet. This is the eight inch Uconnect touchscreen with nav. So you can go to wherever you want right there. Uh, it is way more responsive than the previous generation of Uconnect and it is extremely high definition. I'm gonna put the vehicle in reverse right now and you can see how high def that looks. That looks absolutely amazing put it back in park. This vehicle also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so if your phone has that capability, you'll be good to go. You have the digital touchscreen controls for the um, heated seats, as well as the climate control. Apps is where you're gonna access your uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Navigation button, phone button, and then your settings. 
Below that we have the physical buttons for the radio, the volume knob, tune knob, mute button, and then if you're driving at night and it's, there's too much glare from the screen, you can push the screen off button and the screen will turn off, which is pretty sweet. And in the middle we have your hazard light button. Under that, we have your heated seats for the driver and passenger, three levels of heat, and in the middle we have the physical button for the heated steering wheel. Under that we have all the physical buttons for the heating and cooling of the vehicle. Over on the left side, we have your rotary dial shifter with your push button transfer case. Um, I believe uh, FCA is trying to get all of their vehicles to have automatic start stop by 2021 or 2022. Um, and I believe as of right now, you have to opt out. Uh, so this one does not have automatic start stop. It does come standard with the e-torque engines, that being the 5.7 liter uh, with e-torque and the V6 with e-torque. This vehicle does have an integrated trailer brake control. To the right of that we have your traction control off button, tow haul mode, and your parking sensors for the rear, parking sensors for the front on off. Uh, something new again, uh, CD, CD players are no longer standard I believe, uh, they are an option, so if you still want one you can uh, opt for it, however if you don't it gets replaced with this little storage cubby. To the right of that we have two USB ports, two USB-C ports, as well as an auxiliary jack in. Right here we have a phone storage compartment, and then under that we have a 115 volt 400 watt power outlet. Working our way back we have the configurable center console, three position, right now it's in its farthest forward position with two cup holders, as well as change storage and a little storage tray. Push it back giving you only access to the cup holders, and then push it back once more giving you just access to the storage bin really nice soft leather armrest. It is a tiered storage, so the shallow tier is going to have a USB port as well as a dimple for cord management. And the deeper portion is gonna give you access to the center storage tray. Now, for 2020, this portion right here that is sunk in is new. On the previous models, this whole portion was flat. So you do get slightly more storage with the 2020 variant. And if you look closely, you can see the previous generation of Ram trucks again. They decided to incorporate that back in, which is pretty cool. On the back of the armrest, you have your trigonomic ratios, standard and metric conversions, fraction of decimal conversions, Pretty cool that uh, Ram included that on this vehicle, just like the previous years. Here's a closer look at the cloth seats, pretty standard. Standard glove box, and then the top glove box push button, you open it, and it is LED lit. Coming up top to the vanity, it is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. I don't know how well it's coming through on camera, but you do have a three-door universal garage remote right here. Up top you have the halogen dome map lights. The center button right here controls the rear sliding window. And then you have your glasses storage in front of that. You have your assist button on the left, SOS button on the right. And then something too that I wanted to point out was the sheer amount of headroom in this vehicle. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna come through, but they cut out this portion of the headliner and, and push it up uh, to give taller people more headroom so they're not hitting their head. And again, they do it in the back. Hopefully when I get back there, I'll be able to show you a better shot of it. But tons and tons of headroom. So if you're a taller person, you can have the seat in the complete highest position and still not hit your head on the headliner, which is awesome. With that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much so Before I get in, I wanna show you again. This does have the second generation of in-floor storage. This is removable as well. On the short side, you have a centimeter measurement, and on the long side, you have inch measurement. These seats do fold up, giving you access to a flat load floor. There is no transmission hump, which is awesome. Doesn't have running boards, however, it does have a grab handle making getting in very, very easy. 
Um, and with the seat situated where it would be if I was sitting, I'd easily say I have at least 10 inches of legroom before my knees are even close to hitting. You have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with tablet dimples. So if you have a tablet um, or people in the back wanna watch a movie on the tablet, you can plop it in here and you'll be good to go. Cubby of storage right here for a phone. Again, two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as a 115 volt, 400 watt outlet. Um, these are the uh, Ram brand floor mats. I don't wanna open those, I don't wanna get in trouble. Here's the center seat with the fold down armrest. Hanger hooks, halogen map light. Let's keep that on actually. And here's the cutout again for the, the uh, headroom in this vehicle. The center jump seat doesn't, doesn't get the cutout, but the passenger side and the driver side get it. And it's, it's absolutely awesome knowing that they went to that length to give you headroom in the back. So if tall people are riding in the back, they won't hit their head on top, which is sweet. Pretty standard back here. Let's take a look at, so with this particular big horn, the only way to open the tailgate of this vehicle is to come up to it and physically push the button. However, it is assisted and it is very, very light. I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum. You have four tie downs, one in each corner of the bed. And if you opt for bed lighting, it'll be right here. Putting the tailgate up, easy, two fingers, and it's up. Let's take a closer look at the So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Exterior color is diamond black. Interior is black. Engine is the 5.7. Made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. All of your standard equipment is going to be right here. Your optional equipment is gonna start over on this side and transition over onto this side. Most notable optional equipment is the night edition for $1,895. The Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group for $2,400 and then the 5.7 Hemi for $1,495. The base price of this vehicle was $42,540. With all of the optional equipment, the total price of this vehicle comes to $52,040. Your fuel economy ratings is going to be up here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Now, a lot of people in my videos say total price or MSRP, that's a huge amount. Yes, these trucks are expensive. However, very rarely, if ever, should you pay total price or MSRP for a vehicle. Um, especially with Ram, they do a really good job at offering discounts, rebates, and incentives. And it's not unheard of to get about 10 grand off these vehicles, depending, again, depending on what time of year you buy. So this total price, you could probably get it for somewhere around the base price. I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram located in Granville, Michigan for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this 2020 Ram 1500 or any of the new 2020 Ram 1500s, I will be putting all of the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.